Yo yeah, everyone, what's up? Um, it's almost 4 in the morning here, but I'm playing one more game. Make sure I have enough games to record for the whole weekend. I'm playing International Master from Switzerland, it seems. This is the same game I had as White uh, a few games ago, actually. Same thing still. Oh, I meant the castle first, but whatever. Alright, same exact game. This is not the main move. 94 is the move. Right, I don't even know what, what I'm supposed to do here. Oh my god, my cat just jumped in there. Don't mess with me, Zippy. Um, Queen D2? What's the deal? If 94, I can't go Queen to D2, so you would feel like now I'm supposed to. But then he goes Queen D6, and I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I should just go Knight E2. And then Knight G3. I always like to do this. I just feel like it's solid, like I'm not going to get checkmated with my Knights in G3. Alright. i trade some stuff. Probably going to trade this one. Bishop e4 any good? Doubt it. This goes bishop to e6. I'm just going to put my bishop on e2. I don't know if he's going to go at d4. I'm thinking it might get overextended, but here he goes. He's not scared. Oh, maybe I should have left my bishop there, actually. Uh, queen b3, bishop e6, queen b7 looks like really sketchy. So... I need to get my pieces in the game. I'm just gonna do this, man. If he goes d3, well, there's no threat. I can just go rook d1. Because the pawn is pinned. That makes sense, that move. Alright, rook to d1 anyway. Oh! My f pawn could get weak. I think I'm gonna do it anyway, but it's a little annoying. I don't like my position, man. This pawn's strong. I feel like I should do something like a little ambitious, like 94 now. How many people are watching at 3 in the morning, man? What's going on? 4 in the morning. <laughs> uh, queen a5. I don't know what to do. I'll just do this. Well, alright. I have a bad feeling about this game, man. Um, first of all, I'm down a minute and a half. Second of all, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's this pass pawn is kind of annoying as well. I'm just going to go f3, I guess, just kind of try to solidify stuff here. Because now at least I have a knight on e4. Um, hmm. You know what? Oh no, I was going to say rook d1. Well, actually, it's not so bad. Pawn takes, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes. I'm going to win that pawn on e2. It's something I'm scared to do it, but I think I think it might be the right move. I hope I'm not blundering something. I am. He has e1 check. Wait, okay, rook e1, pawn takes, queen takes, e1 check, pawn takes. Yeah, he wins a piece. All right. Almost, almost, wait, almost blundered that one. Easy move to miss, E1, because you would think about pawn takes rook instead. I knew something was off. Something very suspicious there. We'll, we'll look at it after the game, if I remember. I have two minutes left also, because I'm an idiot. Uh, there's some weird ideas like queen check and a knight g4 with weird pins. That's a little unpleasant looking. It's probably not the end of the world, though. My knight on e4 is a strong piece. My cat's meowing. My cat's right on the table. On the desk, causing all kinds of chaos right now. What happened? My opponent disconnected it and forfeited. Alright, I'll take it. My rating's now 24.95. Um, I'm worse, though, I probably. Let's see. Yeah, a little worse. Not the end of the world, actually. Sorry, guys. That was not, um... 
not the way I wanted to win. Uh, but the, the trick that I almost fell into, like, cause I would like to, I wanted to put the bishop here and develop my rook. And it looks like pawn takes, queen takes. And the idea is if he takes my rook, I take this. If he takes my queen, I take. And yeah, this pawn looks scary, but in reality it's not. He has to move the knight away somewhere. And then I have some kind of move like king f2, and I'm going to win the, I'm going to win this pawn. And so I felt like I was okay here. But just, it felt really suspicious, and then I realized he has this kind of sneaky move. Like, don't take the rook, but push, distract my my rook, and then he's just winning his other piece. So, it's very easy to miss a move like that. And what you need to do is have some kind of sense of danger, and just be really like paranoid about your opponent's ideas in certain kinds of positions. And when there's a pass pawn like this, and everything's like defending each other, like the rook is overworked a little bit, it's just, something was off for me. I just I knew something was a little off. I just had to find it. I was going to play it, though. If I didn't find this, I was just eventually going to play with v1. Because at some point, even if a move looks suspicious, if you determine it's the, the thing you're supposed to do, and you can't find anything concretely wrong with it, sometimes you just have to play it. And I really did believe that um, my rook's better here than... Like, bishop d1 is a little clumsy. So I wanted to play it. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything else. Wow, it doesn't why doesn't want to take? So what the hell I what am I overlooking here? Is it, what the heck's going on? You want oh so it's just saying that like this is not that bad for me because of knight c three. But yeah, I felt like you could take an f three, worst case or something. I mean it's always like annoying. I'm down a pawn at least. I didn't really want to go into that. Um, I feel bad as in the daily video. I mean, I I won, but I want to disconnect. So we're going to play a one-minute game and then go to bed. Well, I'll take the victory, man. Uh, you know what? The next game is game number 500. And you know what's anno always annoying? It's whenever I have a milestone game number, I always forget. Like, I, uh, I start the game. I don't say anything. I just kind of play... I end the video and I'm like, oh crap, that was game 500 and I didn't say anything. So hopefully next time I'll do it. Hopefully next uh, game you'll you'll see me uh, at least noting this game 500. But let's play a one minute game. Whew! What's up, Europeans? What does that, what does that mean can't load source? Somebody's saying that in the chat. Mm. What's a bishop with a five? I haven't streamed in a bit, man. What the hell? I can't. I just want to play one minute game, man. Pair me already. I'm ready for this. I don't know, man. It's taking a while to pair me. I can play three minute too. I don't really care about my three minute rating. I'm retired, basically, from serious three-minute play. Yeah, I'm on near the best list. Oh, I'm on the best list five-minute. I would be right here. Or right, playing three-minute, actually. It's a serious game. Let's go, Cascade. No thinking. No thinking. Just go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's do this. Oh, man. What the hell is he doing? Who does he think he is? Playing this garbage against me. I'm just going to do this even though it's stupid because it's five, three minute game and I just want to move fast. A3 really completely stupid move. But three minute, you know, the clock matters a lot more than five minute. And so I'm just trying to make halfway decent moves, make them quickly, and then slowly run this guy over. Should I double or put... I'm going to double. Because I actually think the e-file is where the action's at. I was, work AD one's natural, but... The e-file is the one that can be opened at any time. So, that's what I'm going to do. Here we go, baby. Is he going to go e5? Maybe. Yeah, he does it. Uh... I'm going to take everything and somehow I'm going to go... Bishop to b5, I think. Yeah, whatever. 
It's the question is, is are his center pawns more annoying than my pieces all in the center? Maybe. We'll find out soon. Hamasaki, what you mean video resolution setting? This guy doesn't know what to do. Uh, if e4, I can maybe take on e4, but probably not. I would play probably knight to d4 or something. Honestly, it doesn't look... Oh, no, no, I can take on d7 and then take on e4. If he goes pawn to d4... I can take on d4 there too. Everything's pinned. I, I see. I knew all my pieces in the center were going to pay off. Uh, his pawns do look imposing, but he can't push either one because of all kinds of different pins due to my doubled rooks in the e file. Celebrity Gaming says normally a. I don't even know what it's talking about. Um, so is the idea of knight takes, knight c5? Or I don't know. I'm just going to take it. Uh, knight e6 maybe, knight c6, so many possibilities. Let's see, bishop d7, queen d7 is annoying. Knight e6 looks like the safest bet. My back is itching. Knight c6, he can move his queen away. Now let's do this. Well, well, all right, let's, let's stay up on the clock here. If rook takes, I wasn't even sure if I'm taking with the bishop or the queen. Probably the queen. Somebody's up the pawn. It's me. And I'm up a lot of time. Oh, let's see. Oh, I think my bishop's almost trapped. I'm going to go here. To b3 is a good square. I want this file now. I played well this game so far. I'm very likely to win because of the, the time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really? Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to do this. I don't know. The knight can't move because bishop d6. I don't even see that. I think it's okay for me. Probably rook e3. Just defend the pawn. Now rook to d4. Okay. I don't want to do anything committal like bishop d6 just yet. Or, or bishop f7. I just want to take my time here. This looks like a good move though. Alright, I'll take it. Just keep things on nice and calm and under control. and Eventually grind this guy down. That looks like a risky move. Uh, okay. Okay, I hope for the best. Strange move. F3 any good? It's probably a risky move. Let's start with that. Now I was going to do something. This looks annoying. Oh, he's starting to check me. Let's not get mated real quick. Mm. Alright, we gotta move quick now. Go away. Uh, wow. What a champion. This could be a problem, though. Oh, sack the exchange. Check. When the knight moves, I have rook f6 now, and I'm also way, way up on time. See, he's in deep, deep trouble, and he has no checks. Rook a1, I take it with the bishop. Let me think for a second. Alright, that's long enough. I'm up a rook, and like a lot of time. He has to go b4. Threaten me. Oh, he didn't see it. Yay! That was a good game for three-minute chess, I think. Uh, I got way up in time, and I started to play a little worse, but I was trying to push the pace and make sure that uh, no matter what, I would win. So, hey, thanks for watching. You got two games for the price of one in this video.
and I will see you all next time. But yeah, you know, like before we go on though, it's kind of interesting because like okay, I mean I don't know if I played the right move, but like natural move, just put put the thing in the center, right? But this D file is not so clear it's going to open anytime soon. Whereas this E file is the one that I can open at any time. Now I know he might go E5, in which case the, the rook is good in D1, but I felt like I felt like this was a good idea to just put both rooks on this E file. Uh, and now I always had this idea of bishop B5, just take everything. And it's just my instinct, but it turned out to be pretty good because if he moves this pawn, I take. And then I can take because of the, the pin. And you saw what happened when he moved the other pawn. So he's actually in some trouble. Like, I'm threatening to take this. I don't know, does he have a move even? I think I'm just much, much better. I'm up like a pawn in evaluation. So somehow I set up my piece as well. And of course, he set him up pretty, pretty crappy. <laughs> um, I mean, he played insane opening. I don't know what the stuff was that he was doing. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.